It is not acceptable for you to coerce someone to accept this religion. Because it is not between you and that person, it's between you and your creator. So when you say your testimony, you're making a contract with the Lord of all the worlds. And based upon his mercy and his acceptance, he can change the flow in your life. So, sister, are you saying to me that you would like to accept Islam and step into the fold of Islam? Can you come just a little closer? Second thing, in accepting Islam, you're accepting responsibilities. That is what the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu have taught us, that we have the duty of five obligatory prayers a day. And we have the articles that we ascribe to, that we believe in Allah. We believe in his messengers. We believe in the angels. We believe in the revealed books. We believe in the day of judgment. And we believe in the predestination, that Allah knows all before it comes into existence. When we say Allah, we are saying what many of you say, God. But when you say God, that is a described word that could apply to anything. It could be the God of rocks. It could be the God of dogs. But when we say Allah, it refers to the attributes of the divine creator. The attributes of the divine creator. We're not talking about the prophets. We can't believe in the prophets. We're not talking about individuals we're impressed by, but we're talking about the one who has the sun shining on that time. Do you believe in that, Allah? Do you believe that that is the one God? Do you accept that as a testimony and the foundation of truth of Islam? Yes. Then I would like for you to repeat after me. Ashadu, Ashadu, and la, and la, illa, illa, illa ha, illa ha, Muhammadan, Muhammadan, Rasulullah, Rasulullah. That's how simple Islam is. What she just said. I bear witness, none is worthy of worship besides the divine creator, Allah. And I bear witness that Muhammad, his messenger, not God, Muhammad, his messenger, is the servant of Allah. With those words, she has entered the fold of Islam. We didn't baptize. We didn't have a wait for long ceremony. She bore witness. She's a Muslim. Takbir! Allahu Akbar! Takbir! Allahu Akbar! Takbir! Allahu Akbar! Let me say this to you, sister. When I stumble all through my early days, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala blessed me, first of all, to turn my eyes towards a path that was not on the path of Islam. But Allah guided me through that path. And he brought me to the sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad and I have been with that since the 60s. And I say that you are on a path whose uh, tread will make your footing sure. Join with your sisters and learn your deen. Learn what you are supposed to know to please your Lord. There's no intermediate. Your Imam, uh, the Alim, anyone does not stand between you and God. When you turn and ask, ask of Allah. When you seek help, seek help from Allah. When you're in fear, intimidation, in poverty, without hope, turn to your Lord. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. May Allah give you long life in Islam. Takbir! Allah Akbar! Takbir! Allah Akbar! Takbir! Allah Akbar! My sisters, there's no lay back here. I would like you to join and meet your new sister and embrace her and welcome her to Islam and do not abandon her. Take her in and teach her the path, inshallah, that we all may be blessed by this act. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh.